Welcome back. We are building our grain bin house. For those of you who do not know, there is a playlist where you can see the beginning of the progress. We are working on the addition to the grain bin. We decided that we wanted large families to be able to come um, when we rent out this property, this piece of property as a VRBO Airbnb. Um, lots of information about that later when we get there. But we are building it on our own. I say us, but it's really my husband. I'm the person that goes and finds the money. And he comes to me and says, I need this, this, and this. And I say, okay, I can do it. Because we're not going to the bank. We didn't go to the bank. I was going to do a loan on the equity of our house and they want it like 9%. I'm not paying that. So we've been taking it day by day project by project and so far we're still alive in today's video you're going to see where there was nothing but a piece of ground and they are literally digging the holes by hand the um the for the foundation um what he decided to do was use uh, like he's doing a pole barn build like post build so the foundation is just these blocks that you were going to see as he goes around all of that was done by hand you see my daughter out there she's the hardest worker loves to make extra money so she comes out and helps um and throughout the video you'll hear my voice so we'll talk about what we've done where we've been and enjoy it you hear that what is it a horse is a horse a horse Yes, this is laborious work, but it, it was easier to just go ahead and do it by hand. We went out and looked at rentals and prices like that, and it's just ridiculous um, how so many prices have gone up. So they dug them all out by hand, um, got them done, and then basically what they had to do um, is dig the holes um, so that they were at least three and a half to four feet deep. And then you want the top. You can see here where he's getting that top part ready. It's a 12 by 12 box. And that's what the post will stand on. So this is a footer um, for the bot for the post to, to stay on so that they um, have support. We have some six by six and four by six posts that will be used um, in, in this part of the build. And basically, since he was pouring the concrete by hand as well, um, he would just go pick up several bags at a time and kind of space it out to where you know he would pour all the bags get the concrete in and then and then make another a cycle of that all of those posts had to be lined up and squared so that you can see the string here and some of the wood that was used in and making sure all of that was done the wood doesn't necessarily stay it's just there as what they call a form um, for the concrete once that's off you can take tear all that wood off and reuse it if you need to it almost looks like a cemetery when you start looking at all the pillars or the footers for the posts, um, but it's not. You'll be amazed um, how much this has grown and, and, and what's coming up. But it's, um, like I said, it took a while to do this part, but finally we were finished. And right there you can see we're ready to start building on top of that. He did have to, if you notice, um, some of the footers are taller. He had to make sure everything was level. So if you go closer towards the grain bin, they're shorter. And as you come outward, they had to be built up taller. One of my side jobs during this time has been uh, to spray <laughs> for weeds. So today what I'm going to do is go around the, the grain bin and everything right there around the rocks where I'm going to spray. So there's all kinds of stuff like that that needs to be done. I do have a headset on, but I actually listen to Christian music or I pray when I'm doing these things, mowing, um, spraying weeds, gardening. It's, it's a great time to, to listen to God and worship and, and pray. And we've got a lot to pray for right now. Okay, this is the addition. It's going to be a pole barn build, not a stick build. And these are the concrete blocks. All of this on the inside will have gravel before we start laying the flooring and the floor joists and things like that. So I just want you to see these are metal over here. He went with metal uh, to make sure everything was nice and straight. Everything is level. We have a laser that was used. We have, there are 16 cement blocks. And it's going to be as high as the entrance down over here where you see where you, there's not going to be a step. Everything's going to be level with the grain bin so people can just walk in. And this whole area, again, will be a big kitchen, 
dining room, 12 feet coming off the end where I'm standing. I'm going to back up. will be a big 12 foot porch. And there's also going to be a bathroom in here. And up in this area will be your mechanical rooms and things like that. So at, earlier somebody asked about stub ups in the concrete. We did not do that because everything, bathrooms will come into the addition. So there will be no stub ups in the grain bin. We just felt like it'd be easier to put it in the addition. It's time to start the framing that the lumber is in. You can see it piled here. And I know some of you experts out there are thinking, well, why didn't you just do a big kit and buy it all at once from the large store and get a discount? We've done that before when we build our house and stuff just lays, um, unless you have a place to store it, stuff lays outside and you have to worry about covering it. So we have learned just buy what you need as you're doing it, um, or maybe just stay a little bit ahead of yourself. So that's just our way, um, just to make sure everything stays dry and straight and all that stuff. All right. So how's he doing this all by himself? You can see here, we have hired, I, we have free help here, so I even hired help. Bob, Bob the Bobcat um, is the one that helps hold up all these posts and the support, and then he uses the kickers to help keep them straight. And he, as you watch here, he's done all of this by himself. Um, so far, uh, as far as putting up the framing. Some of those weathered pieces came off of the tree house, and then in between we have the newer pieces. And as you can see, Bob is sitting here waiting to do a job. Bob is very patient, Bob doesn't complain, and Bob is always ready to work when needed. Um, this is probably the best investment we've ever made in our life. Um, we, you know how you always buy things and then you regret it, and I've got two or three of those things in my yard right now. But this has been the best and um, very very useful piece of equipment. It does everything. Um, they are expensive, but oh my gosh, well worth it. Now, some of the beams will be showing on the inside of the grain bin, on the um, downstairs especially, and in here in the kitchen. Um, the plan is to have the big post beams showing, but because some of them are discolored or some of them are different um, shades just from, from not buying them from the same place, we have decided we're going to paint them. And I think I'm leaning towards painting them black. So anybody that's an expert with design um, and you have any opinion, I'd love to hear it. I was going to go white, keep things like white and black very basic, but the white beams, in my opinion, might get banged a lot and then marked up where a black one may not. I don't know. I've never done that. But if you have an opinion, feel free feel free to share because um, that's not, we're not ready for that for a little while anyway. For those of you who have not seen the beginning of our journey, we call this the tin can. Please check out the playlist. There's a link below. I'll have a link at the end as well. And I have part two for framing. This is the, all the grunt work that had to do to get this part of the project started. And it seemed like once this part of the framing was set, you'll see that in part two, once we got those floors going, um, it's moving much faster now. So part two is in the process of being put together, and I promise it will be out within the next week, maybe two, at the shortest, at the longest. Um, thank you for watching, and you have a wonderful, blessed day.